this is the real Aquarian here. Um, I'm doing the monthly read for Pisces. This one is Pisces. So I'm just going to jump right in and see what the month has in store. How are you doing, Pisces? I hope well. Be it day or night. <laughs> I hope your life is going good. So let's see. Okay. <sighs> Pisces for the month. I'm already liking what I see. Minor hiccups. Well, yeah, okay. It's a good month. It's a good month, Pisces. Woo! Um, yeah. A few little hiccups, but nothing uh, drastic. So automatically I'm getting a high energy. There's going to be high amounts of energy. There's going to be vitality. There's going to be reinvigoration. You've got, uh, uh, you know, good things in all aspects, be it relationships, job, life in general. Things are going to start coming up, um, including health. Health is, is, is heavily aspected here as well. Every, in terms of energy, I mean, energy goes with, uh, vitality goes with health as well. But um, things are looking up. If things were not so great, they're going to get better. If things are already good, they're going to get even better. So with this high energy, I see high bursts of creativity, high bursts of, you know, kind of go-getterness, if, <laughs> if I can say that, if, if you understand me. Um, I do see a few hiccups. Don't freak out about this, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Um, so starting in here, we have good things in all aspects. We have um, elevated levels of confidence, of uh, just sort of, you know, of comfort, contentedness, um, happiness in general. We're, we're, we're reaching a point this month of fulfillment, which is wonderful. Um, we have here with the King of Wands, the kind of, again, it's, it's sort of, you're coming into your own. You're needing, though, and it's not a caution, it's, it's advice of the cards. You're needing to kind of take initiative. You're needing to initiate and make space for the good vibes that are coming your way. For, for the good energies, for the level of happiness that's coming, you have to make space for it. Um, so that you don't, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to sully the good vibes that come in. So just make space for it. Make time for it. Acknowledge it when it gets there. Um, what I'm seeing here, though, is because there's high energy, you're getting real creative. You're getting real, you know, into your stuff, whatever that is, whatever your fancy is, uh, jobs, hobbies, whatever, whatever is making you um, passionate, whatever is, you know, kind of igniting that fire. What I'm seeing here, though, is in the month, we're going to have a slight slowdown, but I am seeing this as because there is some sort of, some sort of energy sucker going on over here. It could be a, a, a circumstance, a situation, um, but in most cases, this is a person. This either might be somebody trying to steal, um credit for the high energy that you have for your level of creativity for your level of ingenuity innovativeness you got all good things going and it's a high burst of energy and you know all we put out positive energies we typically get positive energies back we typically get positive people you know attracted to it but in this sense you know you might come across <laughs> you might come across an asshole some someone in your life, be it friend or family, there's someone who's either taking credit, I'm getting more, there's just a diminishing of effort. There's a diminishing of your energy levels because someone's just kind of, I mean, it sounds bad to say someone's like shitting on your parade, but it's like somebody is kind of, you know, maybe even unknowingly, but somebody's trying to kind of, you know, slow it down, put you in your place, kind of slow down this high energy and it may not be that they're they're knowingly doing it they may be in their own spot in life but it's one of those things where 
there's a delay there's there's a slowing down and it's frustrating it brings feelings of frustration this month because you've got this high energy going you have this need to be bold this need to um you know strike out or strike while the iron is hot and 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 really kind of make a go at whatever is bringing passion to your life you know make a go at making space for the happiness that's coming um but because it's not happening as fast as you would like you get frustrated but i would say to that do not act in haste do not you know if this is someone um think carefully we have the hierophant here this is always a lesson on you need to act with good judgment you need to be of clear thought pure intention um if you acknowledge or already know who that person might be, just don't don't approach the the, the situation too abrasively. Because here we have the Ten of Swords, and that's why I said not to freak out about it. The Ten of Swords, you know, as 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 gruesome as the image is, it's it's actually not all that bad. This these are endings. What I would say is the overall big picture is everything's aspected well, but. You know, life goes in cycles. Life goes in phases. A phase is ending here. And that very well could be whoever is stuck in the energy. And that could be a result of how you decide to handle um, whatever it is or whoever it is that's kind of diminishing your vibe. Because you got high vibes going here. This is happiness. This is another level of confidence. This is, you know, a bolstering of everything. Relationships, bonds get stronger. But then over here, you just got, there's just something going on where either someone's taking your energy, and I would also put that under advisement. This also could be you because it's not this high energy, because your creative endeavors are not um, happening as fast. You're not seeing the results as fast as you would like. So you get frustrated, and then you get in a bad mood. And the Ten of Swords is also, this is about uh, victim mentality. This is about... You know, it's it's very similar to the Eight of Swords in that sense. It's, it's a mindset. So you might need to check your attitude when it comes to this. Keep in mind, this is for the whole month. You have high energies, high vibes coming for the whole month. So if there's a hiccup, don't freak out. If there's someone that's kind of shitting on your parade, don't freak out. Because you have high vibes for the whole month. It's a hiccup. It, it's, it's nothing more than a simple short-lived phase. Doesn't last forever. And at the end of the day, if again, if this is someone who is doing that, diminishing, you might have to be done with them. You might have to sort of cut them out because this is about ending. This is about starting anew, ready to begin again. Fresh eyes, fresh heart, fresh mindset, attitude check. So just, you know, keep your wits about you because there's something that will, will attempt, whether circumstance or person, there's something that's going to attempt to take this high energy and not even really take it, diminish it would be the better word. Kind of lessen it, slow things down because this high energy wants to go, 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 you know? And this here is a, a, a tampering down of it. And you don't like that. That's going to cause you frustration. But check the attitude. Check your perspective. See the bigger picture. The whole month is bringing you good things. Consider that. Consider the value in that. And uh, like I said, the Hierophant is what reminds you that uh, you have to act with good judgment. This is how you reach higher, um, you know, energies, higher vibrations. And that's what this high energy is bringing you. The Hierophant also represents, uh, you know, um, going inward and seeking, you know, a higher level of spirituality. This is about self-realization. This month is about growth in a very positive way. You come into your own, which is awesome, um, but it's also just about how you are going to handle little hiccups that come up. You know, it's, it's what is, what's the term, what's the phrase? Um, action um, determines destiny. How you choose to handle this, don't ignore it, because then this gets diminished and then, you know, it just kind of shits on your month and you have a good month coming. But if you acknowledge it and kind of curb away from it, if it means having to end a relationship with someone or a circumstance, you know, kind of getting yourself out of that element of whatever sapping this energy, it's how you handle it that will determine the outcome. It's, it's, it's up to you. You got to decide. But this is about growth. This is about obtaining a higher level of 
soul consciousness. This is about a higher level of spirituality. You're raising your vibrations. You're raising your energy levels if you handle these things with more wisdom. And at the end of the day, what you end up with is just a world of possibilities. You end up hitting the, the, the end of a, a phase of possibly not handling situations, you know, how you used to. You, reaching that newer level of, of wisdom not only makes you wiser, but makes you more capable of kind of closing the chapter on whatever that is that's uh, kind of getting in the way, that kind of roadblock. Um, and at the end of the day, acting with good judgment, being a little wiser about how you make your decisions when roadblocks come up, and again, perspective, just keep your perspective in mind. Good things the whole month, better perspective, check the attitude. One little hiccup's not going to destroy. If somebody is sapping your energy, acknowledge it. Either move them out, let them know. Don't act brash though. This is about not acting with haste. You have to be wiser in how you make your decisions. Be calmer. You know, institute the inner hippie when handling this kind of situation. Overall, big picture, it's a good month. It's a growth month. Um, and it's really, at the end of the day, about kind of coming into your own. We are lifting our energies. We are raising our vibrations. And we're coming to a point of another level of wholeness, another level of fulfillment, which is just wonderful. So this was... The monthly read for Pisces. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, I ask that you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. I hope you have a pleasant month, Pisces. See you later. Alphabeta!